Hello, this is Justin Germino from DragonBlogger.com, and I'm here with Screencast to show you how to set up your OBS or open broadcast software so that you can stream to the new live YouTube gaming service. So in order to do this, you want to open up your open broadcast software. You want to go to your settings, then you want to go click on broadcast settings. And here you're going to want to select under streaming service, you're going to want to, whether you're on customer or you're on Twitch, you're going to want to select YouTube. And once you select YouTube, you're going to want to look down at the primary YouTube ingest server. To get your path to stream key, you actually need to go to your YouTube dashboard. So to do this, you're going to go click on go live under gaming.youtube.com, or you could just go to youtube.com slash stream and it'll redirect you to your dashboard. From here, you scroll down to where it says encoder setup. Now here, you're going to want to reveal your streamer name key which I'll reveal and I'll cut and paste it, but it'll be blurred out so you can't actually see mine because you can't reveal this key publicly because if you reveal this key, then somebody else can take over your stream and stream to your channel. So I'm going to reveal a key. I'm going to copy it, go back to hiding it, and I'm going to paste it here into the open broadcast software. Uh, I have auto reconnect checked. I have auto reconnect timeout as 10 seconds. Um, I'm not saving it to a local file. If you want to also save it to a local file in case your stream breaks or you want to edit later, because YouTube turns live streams directly into videos, I felt there was no reason to save the streams to a file, uh, so I don't do that. You can just download them off of YouTube anyway. I click apply. The next thing you want to go is go to your encoding settings, because YouTube streams in 1080p, unlike Twitch, which defaults to 720p, unless you have the upgrade. You're going to want to set your max bit rate to 3000, which is recommended. And you're going to want to make sure that these settings are encoder X264, UCBR, CBR padding. 3000 bit rate should be, should be fairly good. Click OK. And then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to load the game that you want to stream. So in this case, I'm going to stream Hearthstone. And I don't know if Camtasia, which I'm using as my screen recorder now, is picking up Hearthstone. But I'm going to, work on, going to click on my game feed. I'm going to select Hearthstone. I'm going to click OK. And then I'm going to preview the stream and make sure it's actually recording. And here you can see Hearthstone is up and running in the background just fine. Stop the preview. And now before I start streaming, you want to make sure you go to YouTube. And you're going to actually want to set your basic info because you don't want to like have the wrong game show up when you start streaming. So in this case, I'm going to do live Hearthstone. Playing Hearth Stone Multi Tour. Categories Gaming, and here you're going to type in the name of the game. And almost all games, especially newer ones, you'll see you can just select. And that's how when you go to gaming.youtube.com, if somebody does a search for a game or selects a game, they'll find your stream there. So you select the game there. You'll notice that you don't have to actually hit save. Everything's saved in real time. You'll notice the channel's offline over here. And the stream is offline. When I start the stream, which I'm going to do right now in the OBS, start streaming, you'll, there's a little bit of latency, but you'll see it start going online. And the good thing about YouTube gaming is, and the live streaming is, you'll see a, how healthy the signal is and, and the bandwidth and whether or not you're streaming and you're getting 1080p, if the bit rate's faltering, you'll start seeing the analytics and the stream health to know where your stream is. You see the stream health is starting right now. Stream health at 10.51 p.m. is showing pretty good. It should start showing Hearthstone any second now as it builds up the stream. You see it's counting the timer now. And we should start seeing Hearthstone load. And, and we do right here. Here you can see it's right now at 360p is the default quality. But you can update that to 1080p really easily. Just something I really like about about the YouTube streaming is the quality of the stream feed is really nice uh, by default. We're not having to pay extra for the service, which is a really good deal. The other thing you could do is, of course, also uh, you know it's mute by default at least for me. Make sure the sounds working and coming through. And then here is your live chat to go ahead and converse with your uh, audience who's watching you during a live stream. You can be found now on a live stream if somebody searches and goes to gaming.youtube.com and they search for a game like Hearthstone or they simply 
want to do a game, you know, select a game, you could find out. Uh, Hearthstone's popular. It's hard to get real popular in the, in the streams with Hearthstone because so many people stream Hearthstone. But I was streaming um, Nosgoth earlier, and I was the only one live streaming Nosgoth. So depending on what the game is, you could find it in real time. You also can have the option to see people's previous streams or recorded video here too. But you have the option to filter out and select if you only want to see live streams or not. You can say instead of explore, just go to live. And you can see these are all the people who are uh, streaming games live right now. So back to the open broadcast software, we can tell that's up and running. If I go to the live YouTube, you can see I'm busy streaming. Um, when people want to talk to you in real time, they'll do it in this real time chat window. Now, nothing said in the chat window will, will convert into comments when it turns into a YouTube video after the stream, which is kind of a bummer. And also, the chat window doesn't clear between streams. So you can literally see your chat history from three, four, five, six streams ago. It's just a constant growing chat history that never really clears out, which is kind of interesting. Um, the only other thing about YouTube game right now is if you want to share your URL on social media, advertise to your friends or fans that you're live streaming, you can grab your, your URL here at the bottom and your share. You can also do direct sharing right there immediately. You could choose to share it for, you know, whether you want your gaming that YouTube URL, you want just your YouTube.com URL. That's pretty much how you set up live uh, streaming with OBS to YouTube. Um, unlike Twitch, it doesn't like broadcast to your fans that you're live streaming. So it makes it harder for people to find and know, like your audience. In Twitch, if you stream, people can subscribe to, to get an email notification when, they're, when their Twitch uh, broadcasters are streaming. But YouTube Gaming doesn't have that apparently just yet. So even though I have like 8,000 or 9,000 uh, YouTube fans subscribed to my channel, they don't get a notice when I'm live streaming. Instead, they might get, if they look at my channel or my home page for Dragon Learner, they might see that it says, you know, you're live streaming right now. Come check it out. See, if they go to my videos, they'll see the live stream processing at the top. Or if they go to my user channel, they might see that I'm live streaming in the user channel. It might broadcast it right there. But they don't make it so easy to let your subscribers know that you're live streaming. And I'm hoping that's a feature that changes with YouTube gaming in the near future. So that way your fans can be notified, get an email update if they subscribe to updates, and they know that you're streaming. But other than that, I really like YouTube live streaming. It's a pretty cool service. I do mostly have to let people know on Twitter and Facebook when I'm live streaming so I can get people to show up and know. But other than that, it's, I think it's pretty fun and like to do and have a larger YouTube following than Twitch following. So for me, it just makes more sense. And I find that even my kids now are doing more streaming and watching of gaming.youtube.com than Twitch lately. They just like the, the quality of the video better without having to subscribe and pay a monthly subscription. So that's how you set up OBS or Open Broadcast Software to YouTube live streaming. Um, feel free to leave me a comment. Let me know how many people have started live streaming on YouTube. Do you still use Twitch? What do you think of YouTube uh, game casting? And let me know. Look forward to hearing from you. Thank you for watching.